tolerance. Be so tolerant that your bosom becomes wide like the ocean. Become inspired with faith and love of human beings. Let there be no troubled souls to whom you do not offer a hand and about whom you remain unconcerned. Applaud the good for their goodness. Appreciate those who have believing hearts. Be kind to the believers. Approach unbelievers so gently that their envy and hatred melt away. Like a Messiah, revive people with your breath. Be mindful of the fact that you travel the best of colorful roads following an exalted guide. Upon him be peace. Be mindful too that you have his guidance through the most perfect and expressive of relations. And then remember to be fair-minded and balanced in your judgments, considering how many do not enjoy any of these blessings. Return good for evil. Take no account of discourteous treatment. Everyone's individual character is reflected in their behavior. Choose tolerance and be magnanimous towards the ill-mannered. The most distinctive feature of a soul overflowing with faith is to love the love expressed in deeds and to feel enmity for the deeds in which enmity is expressed. To hate everything is a sign only of insanity or of infatuation with Satan. Accept your treatment by God. Make it measure of your treatment of people. Then you may represent the truth among them and you will be free from the fear of loneliness in either world. Know that it is a lack of applying your reason or plain stupidity and surrender to the flesh if you become convinced that believing men might do you harm. Apply to a spiritual master to stir up your heart and fill your eyes with tears. Judge your worth in the sight of your Creator by the space you have allocated to Him in your heart and your worth in the eyes of people by the worth of your treatment of them. Do not be neglectful of the truth even for a moment, and yet, among human beings, be one of them. Take note of, and be attentive to, such behavior as causes other to be loved by you. Then, remind yourself that by means of the same behavior, you will be loved by them. Behave decently, all the time, and be alert. Refrain from applying to your carnal self to be a referee in any contention. Its judgment will always be that all others are sinful and unfortunate except yourself. Such a judgment signifies the destruction of the person, according to the word of the most truthful one, upon him be peace. Be strict and implacable with your carnal self. Be relenting and lenient towards others. In sum, in order to preserve your credit, honor, and love, love for the sake of the truth, hate for the sake of the truth, and be open-hearted towards the truth.